Yeah, good morning students. I am Pavan, your science master. Students, in this video, I am going to talk to sixth standard students. Students, you know students, what we have been talking? We have been talking about? Uh, no, I don't want to ask you. Student, one of the students is sitting here, uh, Charan. Can you tell me the name of the concept that we have been talking, Charan? Habitat. Good, habitat. You know what is habitat? A living place. A living place of different creatures or organisms. Very good. And living place in the sense, you know, we are living there means we are getting optimum life supporting conditions there. Like, you know, we are getting proper air, we are getting proper food, we are getting proper shelter, you know, uh, all together the factors that are supporting life there is called habitat. Okay, students. Now, uh, we have already talked about pond as a habitat, tree as a habitat and what our house as a habitat. Students, now let us talk about orchard, a wonderful avenue. You know students, what is orchard? Orchard is the place where the plants are grown in a systematic order. Same type of plants are grown in a systematic order like you know uh, mango orchard um, orange orchard or you know some orchards like uh, chiku orchard you know different fruits giving plants are taken care they are sown in a systematic order and they are grown there so that place is called orchard you know a wonderful avenue see students here how can you say an orchard is a wonderful avenue while traveling by bus or train we can see different types of crop fields and orchards you know orchard is one of the crop field you know how paddy is a crop field same like that orchard is also a crop field you now farmers grow mango guava sapota banana citrus citrus fruits like you know batai oranges in the villages students in orchard farmers grow a single type of fruit plants a mango orchard there will be only be mango trees but we find several other plants growing on the ground and also find different types of animals there yeah shishi charan can you tell me that what is this matter about orchard orchard means crops it's also a crop field different plants growing on the ground and also you see some you know uh, other creatures like worms you see in the orchard and ants you see in the orchard butterflies flying in the orchard you see from plant to plant keep on moving you know students some birds as well so these are all the living in that particular place. So we can say it's a wonderful avenue. Orchard is what? A wonderful avenue. So let's move forward. Another student is uh, sitting before me. His name is Ashrid. Yeah, Ashrid, can you tell me that? I will ask you a question. Are all plants that grow in an orchard the same as the plants in a forest? No, sir. No. Yes, you're right. Why is it so? Because farmers give water okay. every time mm. and time-wise. Mm. But in the forest, they will only naturally. They grow With on their water. own. On the, they grow only depending upon the seasons and nature. Yes. Nobody takes care of the plants in the forest. Right? Yes. That is right. So we can say they are not same. The plants that we are growing and the plants in the forest are same. Yes, of course, the plants that we are growing may present in the forests, yes. but they are not they are not taken care like the plants that we grow in the orchard. orchard. Yes, you're right. Next, let's move forward. Yeah, tamarind, mango, amla are examples of plants that grow in forests or in the house garden or fields. What are the examples given here? Tamarind. Tamarind. Mango. Mango, amla. amla, 
etc. These are the examples that grow in orchards. In orchard, yes, plants that grow in forests also. Okay, and the plants, animals live in different places on the land. Okay, plants and animals that live in different places on the land, like those living on trees. in our houses animals like on tree in our houses and in fields and forests etc the animals so all habitats on land are collectively known as terrestrial habitat very good the terrestrial habitat right right next let's move forward now let's do a small activity to see the difference in the ways in which plants and animals adjust or adapt to their surroundings see we have to do an activity okay. what for a study of the difference between aquatic and terrestrial plants will help us understand this better you know you have to uh, study what you have to study the difference between aquatic and terrestrial plants okay aquatic plants and terrestrial plants aquatic plants where do the aquatic plants live in the water in water very good and where do terrestrial plants live in orchards oh uh, very good forest on the land. land right so to understand this activity better uh we have to compare water plants with land plants students water plants and land plants what are water plants and what are pla land plants that we have to understand you know here there uh, some matter is given i'll read and explain you please listen to me and collect an aquatic plant say a hydrilla hydrilla is a water plant a water plant yes you're right or valisneria valisneria or hydrilla these are the plants that live in water okay aquatic, aquatic plants so that we call them as aquatic plants and also collect any land plant land plant for example you take groundnut plant rose plant or any other plant a small plant you collect okay and now compare the two and write your observations you have to collect these two plants and write your observe, observe it and write your observations in a notebook in a tabular form what is the table given here you can see the table displayed on the screen friends i will display this table on the screen yeah see first what are the parts and next whether the plant belongs to terrestrial habitat or whether the plant belongs to aquatic habitat okay right stem terrestrial how your observation is okay uh leaf root and others you know here uh stem of a terrestrial plant and aquatic plant you have to observe what are the differences you find there you have to mention there whether the terrestrial plant stronger than the stem of aquatic plant or weaker than the aquatic plant can you expect ashrit can you tell me that the stem of the terrestrial plant whether it is weak or strong comparing to the stem of aquatic plant Very good. Yes. So I am asking you that terrestrial plant stem is stronger. Yes. Yes. That's right. Next leaf. If you take leaves also, leaves also, or terrestrial plant leaves and aquatic plant leaves. A remarkable difference you can notice there in the leaves, structure of leaves. If you see them, and you can understand that. Okay. And even roots also, and even other parts of the plant like. flowers you take any other parts of the plants you just keep on observing them and you just mention the differences between terrestrial plants and, and aquatics yes this is the activity that you have to do students okay and that you have to after doing this you have to present it in our whatsapp group yeah there is uh, some matter given here on the basis of your observations right how is the aquatic plant suited to live in water students here what you have to do is 
you have to observe the difference between aquatic plant and terrestrial plant and you have to uh, what right how is the aquatic plant suited to live in water how is the aquatic plant suited to live in in water okay that you just write on your own okay next yeah uh, i hope you all understood this matter what i taught in this video virtual video class students uh, now i wanted to stop till here and uh, the work that what i have given you you have to do and just below the video you can see that comment section there no you have to give a comment and then i can understand that you are watching this video so diversity of habitats in telugu states that we will see in the next class until then keep watching this video and don't forget to like share subscribe and also give your comment in the comment section what you have understood that is most important your attendance is most important here okay i am not going to open the register and call your roll number and uh, uh, take attendance you have to give your present in the comment section that's it okay bye bye thank you